Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Warden and welcome to another tutorial video. Um, in this tutorial we're basically going to be visiting this nice little set that we have by AK, Interac AK Interactive. Sorry, It is their weathering pencils for modelling. Uh, really nice sort of set because it isn't a shall we say an oil based or enamel based sort of product it's water based which does kind of make it sort of nice and friendly and uh, not very smelly and stuff um, and i do like it because it does seem as though you can do a lot of techniques with this that you would do with enamels and um, oil based and all that kind of cool stuff and we're going to be visiting doing things like streaking effects rain marks uh, both on vertical and flat surfaces as well so really nice set you can buy these pencils individually as well uh, but first off we have our leopard to just here um, and now running down the side I'll just move that out of the way running down the side you know we have uh, already a bit of weathering going on but we want to sort of represent some sort of streaks now we're going to start off with this color just here which is dust and rain marks right which is uh, 10026 by AK now with these what you want to do is just dip them into a bit of water I like to on a flat surface I mean this is probably not the best but you know on a flat surface I like to just rub in the pencil with the water and as you can see it sort of gives us you know a bit of like it kind of almost turns into paint a little bit right and then what we're going to do is all the way along here we're going to do some rain mark sort of streaks so i'm just sort of going to literally just draw them on it doesn't have to be like super super neat or anything like that right just you know we just get a sort of a general streak going on Right, now with the colour of the rain marks, I mean this is something that we just want to try and just put absolutely everywhere. All right, you might have to sort of keep working it into a bit of water, um, even then by these bins as well. All right, we can uh, just get a little bit going on here, you know, up and down, doesn't really matter, just kind of keep it sort of random as well. All right, we don't want to you know have it just being just straight lines just going along and just looking all neat and square and everything all right just like so all right and then we want to bring out a couple of other colors as well uh, we have um, serpia just here nice sort of brown you know this can sort of just represent um, just a bit of general sort of dirt that might have sort of accumulated and then it sort of runs down and gives us a, a sort of a dirty streak all right so again i'm just working it on a sort of a hard surface that we have just here all right um so we could sort of i don't know we could put maybe sort of one nicely there maybe a little one sort of there all right again we can just get a little big sort of one there maybe a bit of a little one or two here and there just a couple of areas right um, I'll do a few more off camera but just to speed things up so the next color I've got here is a bit of light rust right the light rust you know um, I mean really these modern tanks like the leopard 2 you're not really going to get any rust but uh, you know just a little bit just I kind of find just kind of gives it a bit more character so again I'm working it on a nice hard surface just to you know get the pencil a bit nice and moist so maybe like a little bolt just here we can add a bit of rust again I don't want to go mad with something like this All right, so maybe another one maybe there um, I'll just do a couple more just off camera so there's our pencils all sort of nicely drawn on there, nice and easy, just using water. Um, leave it to dry for a bit, five or ten minutes, you know, it doesn't have to be like dry, dry. We don't want to let this cure or go off overnight, just nice bit of time, just to, so it looks dry. Then I've got ourselves, I mean, this is a 3mm flat paintbrush, it is by uh, Windsor & Newton, but, you know, any sort of, you know, flat paintbrush will do and I'm just dipping it into a bit of water nice and simple and what we're going to do is really sort of easily just sort of nicely just start brushing down this All right but you do need to be careful that you don't 
brush at them too many times right and it is a process of you know taking your time right so I'm just basically rehydrating our streaks that we've done um, and by rehydrating what starts to happen is we start to feather in our streaks that we've done right now it's not going to look pretty the first time round right and we don't want to keep playing at it right we want to just do a couple of passes and leave it at that because what can potentially happen is you pass over it too many times and it'll disappear because we've sealed this in a gloss in in with a gloss coat after doing decklin right which kind of protects our work and it's a good surface to do this on but you brush at it too many times it will disappear now as you're going along you do want to keep cleaning your paintbrush off so dipping it in water and i'm doing it on my leg but you know it's my habit um and you just sort of keep on cleaning it up okay we've got a bit of a pool up here so i don't want that so i'll just suck that up and clean my paintbrush again all right as you can see it's not looking pretty i mean that doesn't look quite pretty at the moment um but it started the feathering process it's thinning it down feathering it in and we'll come back over it again all right so you just go all the way along all right and you start the feathering process you start blending it in and let it sort of you know not be so much of a hard streak but then we need to leave it to dry again like leave it maybe another five minutes right because again if we go over it when it's wet it's just going to disappear so we let it sort of dry for another five minutes so as when we pass over it again we're going to be making these streaks more feathered more blended in more of a pointy sort of streak going on all right so i'll be leaving that again so as you can see, we've all sort of drawing, dried. So we come over with our second pass and we just, again, we just keep starting to streak it. Now you can streak up or down. You can even turn the paintbrush. So as we get a sharper line, so instead of it being flat like that and we're coming down, we kind of turn the paintbrush so we're doing a sharper. So we can sort of really sort of sharpen some of these out, right? And really sort of, elongate them if we so wish all right and it's just taking your time get a bit of experience a bit of practice you know get these streaks sort of going the way you want them all right you may also notice that at the top you can have a bit of sort of bleed over on the top so you know using the side of your paintbrush we can just tidy them up again clean off your paintbrush keep it clean and we can tidy up these messy bits just there. Again, we've got this bit here, which did look a bit messy, but you know, if we just streak down, we can start some streaks. All right, still looking a little bit messy, but I don't want to keep going over it, because I know if I keep going over it, I'm going to make it completely disappear. Leave it another five minutes, and we'll give that another pass, but hopefully you can sort of see, we're starting to get streaks, and this is what it's all about. It's kind of, do one or two passes, let it dry and you just keep doing that and it feathers in feathers in and gets sharper and sharper and you just keep playing with it and going along with it you know we've got this bit of a rust here which is quite in your face so i'm going to sort of give that a sort of knock that back a bit again i don't want to go over it too many times because it will disappear all right so again i'm just going to keep doing that until it's just right um over this opposite side i have done this one now you can't really see it that well on this you can sort of see these sort of light sort of streaks and almost like rain mark streaks that you're going on here um, with this particular model i am going sort of a light weathering with it so um it's sort of hard to see you don't want to sort of see it too much but maybe something like a world war ii you know we will sort of like try and keep as much of the streaks here as possible and really sort of make it sort of really sort of a grubby nice um say a world war ii bit of armor but you know i don't mind just kind of about that effect for me just nice and light and you can sort of see that rain marks if you look at your car outside you can see those kind of light grain uh, rain marks now as for the top of our surfaces here little bit differently because you, you don't have streaks if you look at your car again really good examples looking at the bonnet say the roof um, you don't really see the streaks but you kind of see these kind of um, droplets of rain marks left over right um, and to do this 
right? The way I sort of go about it is we get out our um, dust and rain marks um, pencil just here. Again, we want to sort of work our paint brush on a hard, uh, sorry, our pencils here on a hard surface just to kind of work that, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this by just dabbing it down, right? Maybe a little bit wetter than that. Right, I'm just sort of dabbing this down in lots and lots and lots of spots, like so. Right, and this should give us a nice effect of like rain marks, but on a flat surface, for surfaces in which the rain can't run down. With that down like that, even when it's just that little bit wet, we can get out our paintbrush being a little bit wet. Um, but this time, what we're going to do is we're going to stipple it on, just sort of dabbing at it, right? And we don't want it to, you know, we don't want it to um, sort of completely go. So we don't want to be dabbing at it too much. I mean, with this one, I tend to not clean my paintbrush as much right it's kind of better that your paintbrush kind of is a bit dirty with this rain marks color right and hopefully you can sort of see this first stage that we've got all this kind of like you know dots at the moment um, again it's this kind of process of maybe just let that dry again for another five minutes and we apply it again and what will happen is with the second pass is we'll probably end up with something like this it is very sort of light and a bit hard to see but you might be able to see I've done just this area here right and it's just got these kind of bits of gray um, sort of feathered in sort of blotchy areas Right, you might be able to just see that, and it just gives it, you probably see it a little bit better on camera now, you just see that there, like those grey little blotchy bits. It's just like a nice light little um, thing to do, but you know, to just do it all over the model, it just gives that nice rain marks effect all over, which goes well with the vertical streaks, and you've got the um, flat areas, which just looks a bit sort of blotchy, um, almost sort of like a little bit dusty maybe of that gray color that gives it some nice rain marks effect. So overall, um, you know, it is a good product. I do do like these. You can do and basically apply in the same way. You know, we have all sorts of enamels and oils you can use. You know, you paint them on basically in the same way. You know, you streak up and down with like whatever thinners they need with a paintbrush as well. It's all basically in the same way. You know, you need to leave it to dry um, and then you give it another pass. You don't want to do too many passes or you kind of remove it. Exactly the same with oils and enamels. It's just that these are like like water-based and they work pretty much exactly the same same technique same way of applying it it's just a, um, a water-based instead if you prefer going down that route so definitely well recommended for that hopefully you're gonna give it a try yourself um, once you've done that um, you know depending where you are in the weathering stage you could probably you know whack a matte coat on there ready to sort of finish it unless you want to do other weathering but um, that should be all good all right so hopefully you've enjoyed that and hopefully i'll see you around for the next tutorial but as always until next time my name is bo waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed